If you are running local LLMs, Olama is one of the best options out there. And now you can use Olama with local GPT. I saw this comment on my Discord from Justin. Does anyone know if it's possible to use a model loaded up on LM Studio instead or Olama? I'm trying to load a model and use it for other functions in addition to having it ready for local GPT. So that got me thinking, why not to use Olama with local GPT? Now, if you don't know what local GPT is, it's my project that lets you chat with your documents on your local devices or your private cloud using the power of LLMs. No data leaves your device and everything is 100% private. I have a whole playlist on this project which covers the basics and also shows you how this has evolved over time. So in this video, the goal is to show you how to use a model running on Olama with local GPT just using two extra lines of code. So first you need to set up local GPT. For that, just come here, copy this link and clone the repo. In my case, I'm running this on a pre-configured virtual machine from Mast Compute link to this virtual machine is going to be in the video description. It comes pre-installed with everything that you need to run local GPT. And if you decide to use this, make sure to use my code prompt engineering to get 50% off. On your local machine, you will need to clone the repo using git clone command. Next, you will need to create a virtual environment. So you can use the conda create dash n local GPT and then provide the Python version that you want to use. In my case, this virtual machine comes with a virtual local GPT. So I'll simply activate that. And for that, we're going to be using the command conda activate local GPT. And you can see that the local GPT virtual environment has been activated. Now, if you have a pre-existing version of local GPT running, I will uh, recommend to uh, pull everything. So this will pull the latest changes. This one is already up to date. Next, we need to uh, install all the required packages. So just use this command pip install dash r requirements.txt. This will install all the required packages for local GPT. Next, we need some documents to chat with. So in this case, the local GPT repo comes with the original orca paper. And that is within the source documents folder, but you will need to provide your own documents. So simply copy those in here. But this specific virtual machine comes with the welcome document and it will describe the process of how you can move your documents to this remote virtual machine. So first we need to ingest this paper to create a vector store. And for that, we're going to be using this Python ingest.py file. Once you run this, this will take the documents in the folder, create chunks, compute embeddings, and put them in a vector store. So depending on the number of files you have, this step might take some time. In this case, in this one document, we have 193 chunks of text. Okay, so we are all set with document ingestion. Next, we need to configure Olama on our machine so that we can run an LLM using Olama. For that, we're going to go to the olama.ai website, click on download. And then depending on which uh, operating system you're using, uh, just select the corresponding option. In this case, I'm running this on Linux. So I will just copy this shell command. Here, I opened another terminal and I'll paste that command and then run that command. This will download Olama and install it on our local machine. All right, so everything is set up. Next, we need to choose an LLM that we want to run on Olama. So go to models. And here we have a list of all the models that are currently uh, supported in Olama. For this uh, simple example, we're going to choose Mist uh, Mistral. So the, in order to run Mistral, you can just copy this command. Here, we're gonna go back, we'll paste that command. Now, if you run this for the first time, it will download the model. So that is going to take some time. In my case, I have already downloaded the model. That's why it's just ready to start interacting with the model. Now, since we want to use this model with local GPT, make sure that you keep this terminal running. So next, we're going to go back to a local GPT. In local GPT, you can set your models here. So for example, in this case, 
it's set to Llama 2.7 billion model by default. And this is the function that is actually used to load the model. Local GPT by default supports different quantization formats, for example, GGUF, GGML, that's an older version, AWQ, uh, GPTQ, and you can also load models in full precision. But let's say we want to use the model that we are already running on Olama. For that, we just need to make a couple of changes. The first one is that we need to import Olama package from Langchain. So we're going to use langchain.llms import Olama. Now keep in mind that with the local GPT, I'm using a relatively older version of Langchain, which is pinned in here. For the latest versions, Olama is moved to the community version of Langchain package. So in near future, I'll probably update the code base to support the latest versions. But for the time being, make sure that you are on this specific version. That's where you will find the Olama package. So this is one additional line that you will need to add to the run local GPT.py file. The second change that we're going to make is this, where we are loading the model. So this is uh, line 140 after you add that one statement, and that is LNM equal to load model. Now, in this case, it's going to get the model ID and base model name from constants.py, but we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just comment this out and we are going to just add this one more line, which is LLM equal to Olama. Then we need to provide the model name. In this case, we are running uh, the Mistral model. That's why you will have to provide Mistral here. If you're running any other model, uh, within Olama, you can provide that file, uh, that model name. After this, just make sure that you save the changes and we are all set. Now we can run local GPT.py. Now a couple of things are different than when you run a normal local GPT. So here it just uh, loaded the um, embedding model. It did not load the LLM from constants.py because we are running the LLM uh, from uh, Olama, right? Now let's ask something. So I'm going to ask what is instruction tuning? This is a topic covered in the paper. And here's the answer. Instruction tuning is a technique used to improve performance of pre-trained language models by allowing them to learn from input and response pairs. This uh, technique has been applied to both uh, language only and multi-model tasks. Then it talks about some of the examples that are covered in the paper. So it talks about the Alpaca, Vacunia, and Wizard LM, as well as Kovala models. So this is pretty good. So just with the two lines of changes, you are able to use Olama within local GPT. And local GPT is an extremely flexible framework. You can bring in these Lego blocks from different places, and they will work out of the box in most of the cases. So do check it out and let me know what you think about it. Another community member was able to integrate local GPT as a tool with Autogen. So I'll be creating a video on that. Also make sure that you subscribe to the channel in order to get a notification for that video. That's going to be a cool one. And also check out the Discord server. There are amazing people helping each other out. Let me know if there are any other topics related to local GPT that you would want me to cover. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one.